everybody. Um, I'm just making this video because I wanted to share some uh, follow-up on the problem-solving strategies that were used in the tug-of-war problem. This problem is a great problem to use with kids who have some degree of math anxiety. After all, there are no numbers in the problem. So in this video, I'm going to show you another approach to use with kids. And this would be one of the first ways that you could introduce the idea of solving equations. But in this case, we're going to start with the idea of swapping. Okay, so remember that a swap is a trade. You know, it's just like when you want to trade chips for a homemade chocolate chip cookie at lunchtime. So look over the pictures and then see if there's any swaps that you think can be made in the pictures. Okay, then I would have the kids make the swaps, and here's how I would do it. I would cut the paper up like this, so it looks like this. Okay, and then I would ask the kids to look for the swaps. And the first swap I probably would make is, I would look at this line right here where I have an elephant is equal to an oxen and two horses. And I see down here that we have an elephant. And so I'm going to swap out the elephant and replace it with the oxen and the two horses. Okay, so now in this line right here, I see that an oxen and five horses has to be more than four oxen. So the next swap you can make is to trade out the oxen for five horses. Okay, and now we can see that we have an oxen and five horses is um, is the same as um, five horses on this side. Uh, the question was who was going to win, and so it's pretty obvious if you look at this side that the side that has the oxen is the side that's going to win. Okay, so let's um, talk for a minute about what is the mathematics involved in the problem. So I'm going back to this paper right here, the paper that had the problem, and um, so here's what the mathematics uh, is with this problem. Uh, first of all, you can see that there is the idea of equations. And the kids pick this up right away. There are no equal signs here. But yet, this little bit right here, the kids assume is going to be an equal sign. So we say that the four oxen are equal to the five horses. Or that the elephant is equal to the oxen and the two horses. Okay, next we know that both sides must be equal. And so there's that idea of equivalence, and that when you have an equation, both sides are equal. And then finally, we have the idea that we talked about of swapping. So a swap is like a trade, but in algebra, we call this substitution. So when we're solving this problem, we are really substituting one value for another. So in summary, here's the big ideas. And the big ideas are about solving equations, equivalence, and substitution. Okay, if you have any more questions, send me an email. I would love to discuss it with you further.